Hello my sweet friends, my name is Adele and welcome back to another writing vlog. Hello everyone, we are once again in the car, um, just like the last video, um, and we're doing pretty much the same thing as the last video, which is, I want to write, I don't know what to write, but I'm feeling that urge, and I just miss it, and I want to get back to it, and I want to feel passionate about writing again, and I want that spark again, um, and so we're, we're doing this on my journey of falling back in love with writing, and just getting back into writing because it's been a hot minute for me and I really I really need to do it as well as just I want I want to I'm, I miss writing and I want to write also I got a haircut and I really like it that's all I mean there's just layers and like wispy little pieces up here so um, if I seem cuter today for some reason that's what it is so we are in the car I just finished up at Target uh, got got a few things, had to run a few errands, uh, but I don't have anything perishable, so I think what I'm going to do is go to Starbucks. Yes, I have my computer with me, because um, I was planning on doing this after I finished errands. So I'm going to go to Starbucks, and we're going to sit and write, and last video, um, I was like, oh, I'm not going to go to Starbucks, I'm going to go to like a, a coffee shop that's, you know, local to this area, because we just moved here, and I'm still sort of exploring and getting to know the area. but. It took a long time. In the last video, we sat there forever trying to just find a place and driving to so many different places because they were like all full or like just there was no parking or like whatever. So I'm just gonna go to Starbucks because it's reliable and I don't have like a ton of time right now. It's currently 4.30. Um, we have a hockey game at seven. Um, so I need to be home in time for that. So I've got about two and a half hours to write. Um, and I am still sort of in the whole, like, I don't know what exactly I want to write kind of thing. And I know in the last one, we were working on that new story idea um, that is like the college um, and the parallel world thing and getting like transported into the parallel world and getting stuck and having to like make your way back. And I still really do like that idea. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like my brain's all over the place. and. Maybe just sticking to one idea is what I need right now. Maybe I should just like suck it up. But I I just I don't I don't know. I I feel like I want to do everything, but the thing is like I don't have any other ideas. I don't have like specific ideas I want to work on. I just want to write. I'll probably start with this story. But I've also y'all will be happy to hear um, have recently been like craving Project Orion. <laughs> And so I don't know, I may take a look at that. This video is all over the place already. I, just, I don't have a structure, I don't have a plan. We're just gonna kinda fill it out. We're just gonna kinda, you know, see what happens. <laughs> All right, I am back in my car. I did not get a lot of filming in there, I know. It was, one, the music was very loud. Um, so you wouldn't have even been able to hear me, but I, so I got some stuff done, but like not in a normal sense of like what I thought I was gonna be doing. Um, I did start writing and I was just kind of like throwing out random things. But like nothing sounded right. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sure y'all have felt what I'm feeling though, where it's like you want to write, but you don't know what you want to write and you don't really have ideas, but then you also have like a lot of different ideas, but nothing like feels, like you're not in the mood to write it, you know what I mean? Um, like th that kind of story, like you just don't want to write that kind, but maybe this kind, but you don't really know if that makes sense. Anyway, so I was writing, um, just sort of like throwing out random things. Um, I spent a lot of time like going through my Google Docs, looking at past ideas and like random snippets I had. Uh, same with like my notes app, cause I randomly write down book ideas in there. And so like I have ideas, I have things to work with, but like none of them feel right, you know what I mean? None of them are like what I wanna write right now. 
and I know that's probably me being picky or I don't know like you just have to pick one and write if you want to write obviously and I know that but like I don't know I just don't I'm not feeling any of them you know so I started looking up writing prompts and like writing um writing plot generators which are interesting I, I've kind of looked at some of them here and there I haven't done anything with them but um I just think it's a cool way to kind of start thinking about different ideas and like uh, across all genres so that's what I was doing I was looking at these plot generators and they have ones where you can like switch different things out or like keep this part but like switch this out um so it was honestly a nice little I don't think it was an exercise because I didn't really do anything but um it definitely helped with just sort of feeling like back in like writing world I don't even know how to explain that I know that doesn't make sense um but I liked it I enjoyed it um there were some interesting ones and I wrote down a few different things that like you know I maybe I got this prompt thing and I liked it but I was like eh and so I did another prompt thing and I really liked something from that one and so I like maybe combined a few things so basically I didn't really write much today but I just kind of compiled a list of like ideas and like prompts in like the very beginning stages kind of thing so I know this is all over the place and this doesn't make sense I'm feeling it I'm starting to get back into it y'all know how hard it's been for me and I get it I know you just have to pick one you just have to write obviously you can't write if you don't just right it is currently 6 52 so i need to get home because like i said we have a hockey game in seven minutes now i need to drink some water and i probably should not have had coffee because coffee makes me so like uh like it makes me jittery and like i don't think i'm anxious but like it messes with me you know and i i got a grande and this is how much I drink out of the grande. So I don't know why I shouldn't drink it. So I'm gonna bring it home for Alec, um, even though it's got like my lipstick all over it. <laughs> okay, I gotta get home so I don't miss this game. Hi everyone, it is a few days later um, and it is currently 9.39 p.m. And for some reason my brain decided that this was a good time to get motivation to write a story. So here we are. <laughs> As I've talked about, um, I've kind of been like looking at different things, like like writing prompts and kind of just trying to get more involved um, again with like the writing community on social media. And I've started using TikTok again for the first time, again for the first time. I made a TikTok like a year ago, but didn't really use it. So like I'm trying it again, but it's really my first time doing anything on it. <laughs> so I'm like, trying to get in the writing communities there. I sound so old. I don't like the TikTok stuff. I have never experienced this. I've been feeling this lately with like feeling a little bit out of touch from the things that I thought I knew about. Like, you know, all the social media, all the things the kids are doing. And I'm almost 25, <laughs> which is weird to say and I've been having like an existential crisis uh, every other day for the past week for some reason. <laughs> so I'm trying TikTok and we're gonna see how it goes but either way um, I am feeling the urge to write right now for some reason. It's like again where I don't really have an idea I will say I have more ideas now than I did before um, and I'm just kind of feeling inspired. Um, I'm not I'm putting a hold on that one idea that I was working on in the last writing vlog um, with the parallel world thing, which I actually realized as I was going through my Google Drive and like cleaning up documents and stuff that I had already started fleshing out this idea. I don't know when it was, but it was for NaNoWriMo. And so I don't know if I've talked about it. Um, it's called Project Alternus. 
Now I remember that means like alternate and like Latin or something, you know. I gotta let my dog inside. He's whining because he's been out there for a total of three minutes. Are you hanging out? He's been very needy tonight. I want to say needy. He's been very lonely, I guess. Um, because usually it's at this time that we hang out and play with him. <laughs> um, but his dad's upstairs working on packages for, uh, the business, and I have gotten the urge to write. So, here we are. You can hang out with us! You can hang out with us in here! Go get a toy! Go get a toy and we'll play! Go get a toy! Okay, he's gonna go get a toy. But yeah, it was apparently a NaNoWriMo project. I don't know what year. I don't really remember fleshing it out. Um, I didn't, I didn't actually write it for NaNoWriMo. It was one I was considering writing for NaNoWriMo. So I started kind of working on it and I like found like the notes and general like brainstorming for it. Um, but I like don't remember it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I'm still gonna hold on that for right now because I've, kind of, I guess, been getting other ideas, but again, nothing is very fleshed out at all. But as y'all know, I love steampunk stuff and Project Orion, which is like my main whip and I haven't actually worked on it in a little bit, but um, it is steampunk-esque. Um, I have been like missing it, but I think I'm just missing like the world and like the world building. Like, I obviously miss the, the book and the characters and everything, but when I think about writing that right now, I don't think I want to work on that, but that's also probably because I'm, like, on the third draft of that and I just feel like starting a new story. But I want that world, I want that sort of, like, steampunky, I guess? I don't know. Um, and I'm also kind of feeling, like, historical fiction, which is weird because I have never written historical anything and nor do I really read historical anything, but um, I have been craving that for some reason, I guess. And so that's what we're gonna work on right now. So like I said, I've got a few different ideas, um, specifically, I guess, like keywords or phrases. I don't know why I told him to go get a toy because now he's squeaking. So if you hear that, that is him. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna do sort of like a big brain dump to write out those words and phrases just to get a feel for like the vibe of like what I'm wanting to write. Um, just kind of narrow it down and see what I'm really being drawn to right now because I have so many different things <laughs> that I'm wanting to explore. So that is what we're going to do. It is 9.49 p.m. I've got my applesauce and we are ready to write. Okay, but first I'm gonna play with him for a little bit so that I stop feeling bad for him feeling lonely. Okay, now we can get to work. Hello everybody, it is the next day. I did not really update y'all yesterday um, after writing, but um, I was just kind of working on brainstorming and doing the brain dump like I talked about um, and sort of just kind of seeing what I'm in the mood for. And it was a lot of steampunk, like I said, um, steampunk and uh, like, going on some sort of adventure or like teaming up, like an unlikely pairing sort of thing, teaming up for like two different motives, um, maybe dual POV, like I said, like the historical fiction for some reason. Um, I'm kind of feeling like the 1920s or something like that. I mean, I'm just a big sucker for that. So mostly just did a lot of that. I didn't really write for like super, super long. Um, I ended up just going into the living room and like hanging out. Um, and it was already late, so. Um, but today, it is three o'clock right now. I am on my way to the library. We are going to check out one of the libraries here. Um, and I'm very excited, it looks very nice. There are so many libraries over here, which I love. Um, so I'm gonna try out one of them, it looks super nice. <laughs> um, 
and we're gonna just write and hang out and I I know you're probably tired of like oh we're just gonna see what happens I'm kind of tired of it too don't worry um, but I don't know I'm just kind of feeling it out I'm trying to decide what I'm doing I, I've got I've kind of narrowed it down to maybe like three or so ideas that I'm like really interested in and I'm gonna try to see if I can mesh them together somehow because they're kind of similar uh, similar settings sort of thing so I'm at the library it's over by downtown uh, where that first coffee shop was in like the last writing vlog or the one before that I don't remember but where it was like super full and we couldn't get in um, so it's downtown and it's like very busy and I could not find parking for the life of me and I've been driving around this building and it's a huge ass building this is a huge library it looks very nice um, but I've been like driving around the building for like 10 minutes but I finally found there's a parking garage of public parking um, and there's construction going on so it's like confusing but we just parked I'm in a parking garage <laughs> connected to this library so um, we're gonna go ahead and go in and I'll try to show show y'all around but it looks very fancy hello everybody um, it's been about a week um, I could not film in the library uh, I mean I guess technically I could it was super busy in there for some reason I think maybe it was because it's like kind of right around when school lets out slash like a little bit after school um, but there were a lot of people there and um, I did do like two laps in the building to even find an empty table it was very big and it was very nice but uh, yeah it was super busy and it was like really quiet and there were like no empty tables so when I finally did get a table it's just like there's like people all around me so I didn't want to film because it was like quiet and like people are like working on stuff so I could not film but it was a nice library and I will definitely be going back um, but yes it's been a week um, because my friend from Texas visited so she's been here uh, well she's she left the day before yesterday but it's she, she's been here for, she was here for like five days or something so I didn't get to film so we are back in my office it is a nice day outside um, I've been working all day um, it's, I think it's like, I don't know where my phone is, I think it's like 4 o'clock maybe? 4.26. Um, so I've been working on stuff all day, haven't really been able to write. So, I gotta kind of get back into it again. <laughs> um, I just keep struggling with like, not having an idea, I guess, which I know is like not an excuse to, to not write, but... And I know that's something a lot of people struggle with. And I've always, like, I've always been like, oh, I have lots of ideas. I don't really struggle with that or anything. It's, but like now, like I have ideas and I have previous stuff that I've worked on. I have tons of ideas written out and notes and like the random beginnings of stories, but like nothing that I feel like working on, if that makes sense. At, like, I don't, I'm in the mood for something, but I don't know what I'm in the mood for exactly. And so I'm feeling very conflicted for some reason. So Alec is currently out running a few errands. Uh, when he gets back, we've already talked about it, and he actually suggested it. He volunteered this idea because he knew I was struggling. He asked if I wanted to run some ideas by him and we can have a little brainstorm chat session while, you know, we just work on things that were like chores around the house, uh, which I really like. And I like talking through ideas out loud. Anyway, we're gonna just... We're gonna just start writing stuff down and see what happens. And I mean, that that's what writing is, isn't it? So, must be doing something, right? Oh, another random issue that I keep running into that I have noticed about myself, and I've always kind of known this, um, but I've recently with this, in the last few days, uh, doing this vlog, um, have realized, uh, like I was saying, I have been feeling like historical fiction, and you know I've been reading historical fiction and I love it I cannot write historical fiction in my head look I love researching I love looking stuff up but in my head it's almost like having to prepare for a for an essay or something like I'm writing a research because I have to like do research about stuff and not just like well obviously like you research things that pertain to your book but it's like if I want to write about the 1920s, 
I gotta like look up every, like what are normal like slang terms what is the clothing like something about like having to sit there and like do all this research before you can even really research anything for your book um, just to like know what is happening in this decade or whatever you choose I can't do that I don't know I can't write historical fiction <laughs> and that's what I've discovered about myself Okay, I stand corrected. Um, I think we got something happening, possibly. I was just going through all of my documents. Why is this so low? I was going through all of my documents and found an idea I'd had before that I had looked at, but didn't really think anything of, um, like previously in this vlog when I was looking for something. I didn't think much of it because it like wasn't, I wasn't really feeling it. This wasn't what I was wanting to write. Now, I went through everything again, just with like an open, open mind. But I kind of like looked at it differently and I kind of was trying to like incorporate some of the topics that I've been wanting to write. And I think I figured it out, kind of. Obviously it's still an idea, but this is what I'm, I think I'm feeling at the moment. I just wrote a nice little paragraph um, about how I could incorporate some of my current topics into this. And for some reason, I am remembering this very well. This is a random snippet that I wrote, I wanna say in like 2018, maybe? 2019, actually, can I, how do I see that? 2019, August 17th, 2019. Um, and I haven't touched it since then, until right now when I wrote a paragraph. But it's literally just a random snippet, um, like a scene, and I specifically remember I had this like relatively fleshed, it, like it wasn't outlined and stuff, but like the plot idea, you know how it usually starts with like a tiny plot, like a spark of a plot, something you want to happen, you know, a vibe, whatever. I realized I didn't write any of it down, <laughs> but I remember specifically like walking around college like walking around my like walking around my campus my college campus when I was in college um like between classes and walking around and like talking to myself in my head and like fleshing this idea out and I somehow didn't write any of it down but I just remembered all of it so I'm okay with that so right now what I think I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna set a timer for like 10 minutes and for that 10 minutes just sit here in this document and write down as much of that idea that I can remember and hopefully just kind of get it all here, get it all in one place. And then from there I can start fleshing out the idea more uh, with some of these newer topics that I've been wanting to write um, as well as just continuing the idea. So I'm gonna set a timer and we're gonna write. 10 minutes, start. Okay, so I wrote for exactly 10 minutes and I just checked my word count because it doesn't matter and it's not NaNoWriMo, even though actually Camp NaNoWriMo is about to start. I didn't even think about that until just now. We'll come back to that, okay. Just check my word count, even though I don't do that unless it's NaNoWriMo. <laughs> um, and I wrote 487 words in 10 minutes, so I'm happy about that. Obviously, it's not like actually writing the story or anything, but um, um, 500 words of brainstorming and plotting, pretty nice, especially considering, you know, how I've been feeling. <laughs> um, so yeah, I basically just wrote everything that I already had for the story that I could remember <laughs> that I had fleshed out years ago in college. So. Um, basically wrote that out and through that I was actually kind of starting to like explore different paths but I stayed within the 10 minutes and I'm feeling pretty good I haven't felt quite excited about that this this idea feels more fleshed out it feels more solid um, and the other stuff that I've kind of been exploring has been like 
vibes <laughs> but this feels like an actual like it has legs like i can go somewhere with this obviously with the other ideas they have the potential to also become you know full ideas and full stories um but this just has a, a little more substance at the moment and i think right now that's kind of what i've been needing i've been like you know i don't know what to write and, it, blah, 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 and i'm very indecisive and it's all this stuff so i think kind of narrowing it down but like knowing like i already kind of have a base set up is very helpful for me right now in this little mood i'm feeling <laughs> So, I'm actually going to end the video here. It's a good place to stop. We've got a nice idea that I'm excited about. We've obviously explored a lot of different avenues in this video. Um, but I'm starting to, I don't know, I know I just wrote 500 words and I didn't really like do anything with it. Like, it's not a lot, but like, just from that I'm starting to kind of feel like a little, like, ooh, kind of thing. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but um, I'm going to end this here. And... I am excited to keep working on this, and I'm excited to, as soon as I end this video, sit and debate on whether I'm doing Camp NaNoWriMo or not, because I totally forgot <laughs> that that's happening. It's April, right? Yeah, it's like April and June. So, or is it July? April and July, I think. Either way. I... I might be doing camp. Ugh. <laughs> that's gonna be another video. If I do camp, I will announce it in a separate video, but for right now, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you all enjoyed. Comment down below what you thought, as well as any story ideas you're working on, or if you also struggle with having all these different ideas and like not knowing what to choose. <laughs> I appreciate you watching and being here so, so very much. If you are new here, I would greatly appreciate if you subscribed, if you do feel so inclined and enjoyed your time here. Um, also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and comment. Let me know what you thought. <laughs> Uh, but I think that's everything. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to see y'all in the next one.